Hey Stages Flight fans, today I want to introduce you to our newest app, Stages Flight Control. In front of you, you see a tablet. This is an Android tablet, and right now, this app is only available on Android. Um, but in a matter of weeks, it'll also be available on the iPad. Let me show you how to download this app from the Google Play Store. First, you'll need to have a Google account. Um, either that can be a personal account, or it could be one that your facility creates and all instructors could use it. In order to download this app from the Google Play Store, tap on the Play Store shortcut. Then in the search field, let's type Stages Flight. We have a few apps. Let me show you which one is Stages Flight Control. This one. Let's tap on it and install. Now you could just press open and open the app, but I like to put this shortcut in an area that's obvious and can be found very easily. If you're not familiar with navigating Android tablets, this square will let you close the app. Tap on the square, hit the X, that app closes. I want this shortcut or icon on the home page so it's easy to find when I start class. So I'm going to tap and hold and drag it to my home page. Good. Now, let's open it. I'm going to tap. The app launches. Our goal in developing this app was to create a product that all instructors could use on their own personal devices. So if you own an Android tablet or an iPad, you could use that device to run your class. And we thought that would be a better way to go because everyone is more comfortable using their own devices. And you could even run your own music off of your own tablet, as well as control the class at the same time with your own personal device. So to do that, you would have to log in with your Stages profile. It'll check to make sure that you're an instructor. And then you can pair that or sync that up with the computer that's in your facility. So let me show you how to do that. First, I'll add my email address. then my password. After I have entered email address and password, tap on the checkbox. Then select login. I teach at multiple locations that have stages flight. If you have your own personal device with the stages flight control app installed, you could use that one device to teach at multiple locations, but you will need to pair it with each location. In this case, I wanna pair it with my personal location called Stages Dennis. So I'm gonna tap here. Now it asks for a pin. This is used so each time that you need to log in, you can authenticate with a four digit code as opposed to always having to type in your email address, and full password. I'm going to select PIN, and then I'm going to select a very simple one. Let's make it one, two, three, four. It could be any four-digit PIN you'd like. Okay, now this is where it could be slightly complicated. This device, this Android tablet, with this pin is trying to pair with the Nook computer 
that is running in my location. It also needs to pair with the actual stages flight application. So let's look at this. If I pull this view up, let's assume that that, that screen that you see there is your projector or TV or TV walls, whatever you have in your facility. You need to open stages flight And in order for the tablet to pair with the Stages Flight Group Display System, you need to pair it when this screen is showing, where it says Waiting to Connect. Now there is a chance that this screen does not automatically pop up when you launch the Stages Flight Group Display System. If that happens, most likely you're looking at this screen. If that's the case, tap on Remote, and that will take you to this Waiting to Connect screen. Okay, let me pull you back down so I can show you the tablet. Okay, so now we're here. I'm going to tap on the Check Circle, and now I'm going to select Set Pin. Now you'll see the instructor panel, which will now control the group display system. This instructor panel works the same way that our system has worked with a laptop in the past. Let me show you. First, I'll select Add Profile and Route. I'll go to My Name. Let me select any of these profiles. Let's do that one. Now let me select a video. Let's select this one. Now, when I press start, you'll see the profile begins. You can control the volume from the tablet. You could also control booking from the tablet. Let's see. That my user has popped up. You could control the gauges. Anything you are able to do on the Stages Flight laptop, you can also do with the Stages Flight Control app. When class is over, you'll still end it the same way we have with our laptop. You tap End, OK, and class ends. Once you go through the steps of that initial authentication, then things are very simple. So let's say I'm running into this facility to teach my class. I have my own tablet. I power it up. It's right here. I press Stages Flight Control app to open it. Instead of having to type in my full email address and password, I'm just going to type in the PIN that I set up. I press Connect and then I take over 
the stages flight group display system and I can load any of the profiles that I have set up and I have saved in my account. If you are having any connection issues, be sure that the Stages Flight Group Display System and the tablet are on the same network. They need to be on the same network to communicate. And there you have Stages Flight Control.